If you're going to shoot some video with the Sony A9 and don't have time to fiddle around, here's a quick start guide for video novices. I'll keep this as simple as I can, but I'll let you in on a few advanced tips at the end. I'm at Burdock to record Lewin Fung's quintet. Use an SDXC memory card rated U3 or better. The A9 supports UHS-2, that's what I'm using, and I've put the same type in both slots for dual recording. Haven't had and don't expect problems, but always better safe than sorry. After making sure the cards are backed up, I reformat to make sure the cards are clean and ready to go. There has been a firmware upgrade since the camera was released to change the settings related to overheating. Make sure you're running the latest firmware. Video can be recorded from any mode, but use video mode on the dial. It provides more control and sets the display to video mode. Set the focus ring to AFS or AFC, but the A9 auto selects AFC continuous when it's in video mode. Make sure the EV dial is at zero. On tab 5 screen 5, if you're recording on only one card, Select slot 1 and set the recording mode to standard. With two cards, use the same setting unless you're dual recording, then use simultaneous video or simultaneous stills and video. On screen 2, set the power off temperature to high. This extends the amount of time you'll be able to record after the overheating alert appears on screen. And as long as we're here, turn touch operation on it only works for focus, but that's perfect for video. On tab 2, screen 1, set exposure to manual. File format. The band asked me to record in HD as they're going to edit the footage themselves, so I'm using XAVCS HD. Use 4K if you have the space and computing power to handle that format. Record settings for most video production, 30 frames, 50 megabits. On tab 1, screen 7, auto ISO, allowing the camera to set the overall exposure level. I'm bounding it between 100 and 6400. Also on screen 7, metering. For most situations, multi, but for performers on stage, use highlight, which will usually keep the faces in the spotlight from being overexposed. Screen 13 to turn face detection on. If you're shooting in 4K, face detection doesn't work. In general, however, unless you're shooting with a tripod, using the viewfinder will make your shots steadier. Speaking of tripods, tab 2 screen 4 turns steady shot off if you're using one. Tab 2 screen 2, audio recording should be on, and if you're using the internal mics to record, check that the level is 26, the default. Use reset if you need. With default, you don't need to see the meters on screen, but I leave them on anyway. And on screen 3, I like to use the shutter button for video recording instead of the red record button. That feature is activated here. Press disp to get to the displays you like. This can be customized on tab 2, screen 6, and is independent for the monitor and the finder. My options are all histogram and level, and mostly I use the histogram screen. Using the back dial, set the shutter to 1 60th. In dark situations, 1 30th might be better. With the front dial, set the aperture to f4. This is the 70 to 200, and that's the maximum aperture on this lens. Sony has some lenses, like the Cinema 28 to 135, where the aperture is set manually on the lens. Press Fun and select the focus area, Flexible Spot. I find M works for most situations, but small and large are available. If you're shooting with the monitor, touch the subject. With the viewfinder, use the joystick to position the focus point. The scene is properly exposed, but if it looks too bright or dark on the screen, turn the EV dial to override with EV adjustments. Alternately, Press the right side of the control dial and set the ISO manually. I shoot with a set white balance. This prevents color shifts that make editing difficult. Press Fun and select the setting that looks most appropriate, or dial it in using Kelvin. 
If it's yellow, turn it down. Blue, turn it up. Finally, set the creative style. These are all personal taste. Choose the one that pleases you. These settings will provide the maximum return for minimal effort. Press the shutter or the red button if you didn't customize and record. The A9 limits recordings to 2950, so keep your eye on the top left. If you need more time and are running low, pick an appropriate point in the performance to do a quick stop and start. Thanks. Thanks. Uh... Now, if you can spare a few more minutes, I'll provide some advanced tips. Here's what I do beyond what I just described. I set a custom white balance, tab 1, screen 10, set and then point at a white sheet of paper or a pro 18% gray card. Press the center button to capture, again to save. My preferred creative style is neutral, and I turn down each of the custom settings. These are my personal preferences to reduce the crispy, oversaturated look typical to video. When the lens doesn't zoom far enough, tab 1, screen 1, use the Super 35 mode and select On to crop the image in, or and, Use Tab 2 Screen 5 to turn on Clear Image Zoom. Then use the Zoom setting to zoom in and out, although this stepped control likely isn't suitable for use while recording. On Tab 2 Screen 8, it's easier to assign the zoom to a custom key for quick access. While I'm here, set C1 to Focus Magnifier. That's useful if you're using manual focus. Now press C2 and the zoom control appears and face detection doesn't work when clear image zoom is engaged. For better audio quality, use an external mic or mixer and connect it to the mic in jack. If you do, you'll need to turn the audio levels down, 10 or less. You can eyeball exposure or use Zebra for a more accurate setting. On Tab 2 Screen 6, set Zebra to 100. This alerts me to any area in the image that's overexposed. I use Auto ISO because lighting on stage can be variable, and it makes the adjustment as I zoom in to the keyboard player. The reason not to use Auto ISO is that as it's continually making adjustments, the resulting footage may be distracting and harder to edit. Set the ISO manually by turning it up or down until the zebra stripes are eliminated or minimized. Judgment call. Tab 2 Screen 3 to select the on-screen marker settings. 80% Safety Zone helps to remind you to keep your primary subject within this area then turn the marker on or off. If you use this, that's also a good custom button selection. For black and white footage, use the creative style menu. The A9's battery lasts over two hours, but the camera can be powered using USB, as long as the battery has a charge. It takes quite a bit to overheat the A9, and I have no magic to prevent that from happening. If you're going to do this regularly, Use tab 6 to create a My Menu with these settings like I did. Now, I hope this helps, and I hope your shoot goes well. If you have questions or comments, use the comments area below. I do read and reply to all relevant and civil comments. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing.